life on a boat means that you're exposed to the elements, maybe more than you would be in a house or even in a car. There are a couple of things that you might want to consider as you're thinking about how to provide shelter from wind and rain. Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. I'm talking about a hard top dodger and why we decided that was a really good way for us to go. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by FastSeas.com. That's F-A-S-T-S-E-A-S.com. Plan your next passage using FastSeas.com. Whether you're after speed or comfort, FastSeas will find the optimum route to your destination. FastSeas, making weather routing simple. Use coupon code GALLEY2018 for an exclusive 10% discount. If you've been following the podcast or my blog for a while, you may have an idea that we've undergone a pretty tremendous refit of Calypso that's coming into its sort of last days, or so we hope. One of the big things that we really wanted to get done this summer was to make a hardtop for the boat. We're big believers in Dodgers, and a Dodger is sort of like a windshield for your boat. Basically, it's a canvas covering that goes generally supported by aluminum or stainless steel bows and it goes over the companionway which is your main way of getting down below onto the boat and then has canvas with vinyl or some kind of clear glass or something clear that you can see through in the front to protect you from spray and wind and we've had a dodger always we've never sailed without a dodger or we've never cruised hard without a dodger because we find that b- being able to protect ourselves from spray and rain is really important as we're sitting in the companionway having a dodger means that we can leave the companionway open in times that we wouldn't be able to otherwise and that helps with ventilation down below we've always had a canvas dodger and we've realized over the years as we would step on the boat and reach for that stainless steel bow set that was held in place with webbing and straps wasn't the most sturdy thing we realized that we really wanted a good handhold we also realized that the canvas though it mostly started as mostly waterproof would always drip through and so if you were sitting in the companionway to get out of the rain when you were on watch you might still get dripped on and you might still need to have your foul weather gear on. So a hard top was something that was high on our priority list. A hard top basically, instead of having the bows and the canvas on the top, you actually have a hard top. It's hard, made out of durable material. When we decided we wanted to put a hard top on, it was really hard to figure out the design that we wanted. You can buy hardtops that are made by manufacturers, and people love them. But one of the things that's important to us on Calypso is the aesthetics and making something that fit our boat just perfectly with the right curves and the right size and all that thing. So we went through a fairly lengthy design process. There was a lot of time spent in the thinking chair, and Jeremy came up with a beautiful design and executed it just gorgeously. But why are we so excited to have this hardtop? There are a number of reasons. Number one, it's sturdy. We've put handles on the outside, which means that when we step onto the boat and we're stepping around and into the cockpit, we have something very secure and sturdy to hold on to. I like that. The combings are a little bit hard to get around and over. Having something to hold on to is important for me. It also means that when we're offshore and transitioning from the cockpit out to the side deck, we have something to hold on to before we get to the handrail that's on the cabin top. These last few days have been rainy. And boy, is it nice to know that that thing doesn't leak. It can't leak. There's no way that it can leak. It's kusa board with fiberglass over it and paint over that. It is impervious to moisture. It's not ever going to leak. That's fabulous. We also are really happy about how we're fitting the canvas dodger because yes, we still have a canvas dodger, which again is sort of like that windshield with a lot of vinyl. We've got lots and lots of great visibility in our dodger. But what we can do is instead of when we want to take the dodger down, if we need to take the 
canvas out to do any work on it, instead of having to take the entire thing off, wrestle with it off of the bows or whatever, we have three different panels and we can take each panel off separately. Each one is zipped into a track that is on the bottom of the hardtop. So the three reasons that we feel that this hardtop are really, really incredible are one, it's a stable handhold for us to move around on the boat. Two, it's waterproof, not gonna leak, that's fantastic. And the third one is that it's a very easy, very practical way to hang a very good looking dodger without having to worry about just the bend of rails. Down the line, we may decide we wanna put a solar panel or two on there. It's a little challenging because of how our boom overhangs it, but that would be another thing that we might be able to do on that hardtop is to put a solar panel on it. If you don't have a Dodger for your boat and you're planning on going offshore, you might want to think about ways to keep yourself sheltered from the rain and the wind. For us, a hardtop combined with a canvas Dodger with a lot of vinyl in it is absolutely the way to go. I can't wait to share an anchorage with you when we're not hiding from spray and rain. And maybe it's a little warmer than it is right now. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love it when we hear from our listeners. We love it when you share us with your friends. And we love it when you don't forget to subscribe in your favorite podcast app. Talk to you soon. Bye.